Hello, everybody out there. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News. We have a Bachelorette episode tonight. What is it, week three already? Oh, before you know it, it'll all be done. They'll be broken up, and we'll move on to the next story. But uh, that's tonight. I'm going to be doing live streams at 7 p.m. East Coast time, one hour before the East Coast episode, and directly after the East Coast episode at 10 p.m. East Coast time. Check out those live streams there, and also follow me on Instagram at dneals for other uh, information, reels, photos. Uh, you can see uh, uh, my doings over the weekend. Went to the beach yesterday. Had a ton of fun. In this video, what she said over the weekend. Who could it possibly be? The Nick V. Katie saga continues with no end in sight. We're going to share that information. Quite damning, uh, very opinionated. And I've got a lot of people that have asked me, they've said, hey Dave, are you going to comment over what was said or not said or lip synced over the weekend on a TikTok regarding somebody who's dating a former alumni. And I say this, my standards for Bachelor Nation News have to draw the line somewhere. I do not comment on people that were not on the show. Subject to change, subject to change, depending on circumstance, because there's always a new circumstance. And people say, well, what if the person who wasn't on the show is commenting about the show? Well, then we'll talk about that. And if they have a scenario that has nothing to do with the show, we will leave that be. If you want to know more about that story, I will be talking about it privately on patreon.com slash Dave Neal at 10 a.m. today. I will give my opinions there privately at patreon.com slash Dave Neal. So this video is not about that scenario. And I hope people understand that, you know, I can't go down. What, what did so-and-so's girlfriend say? What did so-and-so's uh, cousin vote, uh, you know, in the 2020 prime? You know what I mean? It's one after another. That's for you guys to talk about. Do with your follows on Instagram as you wish. So we'll get into this story. We have Alana. Now, you may know Alana. You may know this story. You may not. But she was asked, am I Team Katie or Team Nick? She says, Team Katie. So I'm going to share what she said right here. And then after that, I'm going to kind of take us back to last year, what went down to spur this side of the, you know, why, why she's taking Katie's side. So if you don't know the Katie versus Nick saga, hold on one second. We'll catch you all up. But Alana says, I only feel like I can weigh in on this because Nick's behavior towards Chris, her boyfriend, was pretty awful. And I unfortunately had a front row seat to a pretty upsetting phone call, along with speculating on his sexuality with the intention to humiliate him. It's a big no from me. So we're going to get into exactly what Nick said here, which we made a video on. Um, uh, geez, let's see, September 2nd, 2021. Can you believe that was almost a year ago? Can you believe the kids are one year older? Gray hairs are coming in. We're all dying. Okay, let's not take life too seriously. We're all dying. All right. Anyway, let's uh, just quickly jump over to Game of Roses, which is a fantastic, probably, probably the best in the business as far as commentary regarding the ins and outs and the strategy of the show. Let's just share two quick clips, which will catch us up on the Nick v. Katie saga. Is that this is perhaps the most important digging deeper we've ever done. Over the past two weeks, the sauce wars have consumed the nation. After Katie Thurston revealed in a TikTok live that she has blocked Nick Vial, a firestorm of reactions and escalations rocked the nation on this digging deeper. We are going to take you through the entire timeline. How good. Oh, man, they are so good. They are so dang good. If you don't appreciate the artistry that is the Game of Roses podcast, I, I don't know what to do for you there. I don't know what to do for you. So Sauce Wars, as they talk about, refer to grocery store Joe and the sauce he sells, his tomato sauce that he's got there, his Italian sauce, the, the, you know, the old, you know. So he talks about that, but it's really a the um, state-produced North Korean media known as Bachelor, Clickbait Podcasts, the ones that are getting paid by the show, and others that are very similar to the show, like Nick's podcast. You know, he's independent, but he's also like, you know, he, he could go full scorched earth against the show, but then he would probably lose some of the insider privileges. I don't know what they are. I'm not there. I'm on the outside, folks. So anyway, let's go to 1242 here. Just to catch everyone up, you got to go listen to the full uh, episode here. I don't want to, um, you know, steal too much from them. Just a quick borrow, if you will. And um, yeah, so Katie spent 45 seconds saying she blocked Nick. He and Natalie responded with uh, 20 minutes. Natalie's his girlfriend. Have a quick listen, and then uh, we'll get into, uh, you know, what Alana has to say. 
an issue with this. I, this is Natalie and Nick's response. No, this is not her first time doing it. I believe it's her second time. I don't know if she's done it. Well, you more had 12 than that. days of messy fo- immediately following her season. her season. Okay, that's what I thought. And I'm just so confused as to why she continues to bring these guys Take that money into her me- like her life. Why are we still bringing them up? Like they have moved on. They have tried to forget about that and you just get bored and decide that you want to rope everyone back in. And I think it's really weird. <laughs> this is such a gift. So that so now we're now we're listening to the Game of Roses co-host saying this is such a gift here. A true, it's unreal. True Lizzie. blessing. Thank you, Natalie Joy. Thank you for coming into our world. Thank you for adding this gorgeous clip to our digging deeper. Just gave a little, gave a little Google Nick Vial Patreon, patreon.com slash Nick Vial. There are two membership levels. Now, of course, this was originally exposed by reality. Steve, credit where it's due. One, a basic tea seeker, that's four ninety nine a month. Two, premium tea seekers, five ninety nine a month. You get all of the audio and video versions of his Patreon show. And just as a side note, nobody gets more bang for their buck than who joins my Patreon because we're going live for 10 hours a week, okay? Beginning with a tell-all recap of his season of The Bachelor. And it includes, each one of those episodes has literally one of the players from that episode. Spilling tea. On yes. A- so does that Patreon not have any new information? Is it just a recap of his season? Like like sort of a, an evergreen buy it and then unsubscribe when you're done with it? I'm not too sure. If Nor do I want to find a out. A season that was many, many years ago. Does Natalie Joy not know that he has a Patreon when she is saying this? Natalie Joy <laughs> is living in the house that was bought by the proceeds of the Patreon. The house of Patreon. As she's sitting here saying this into a microphone that was paid for by that Patreon, living in the house, eating the food. Mm -hmm. It's insane to me at this point. And it it really, in my opinion, it shows that Natalie Joy isn't quite ready for this yet. She needs some more schooling before she can break free from Vial and go into the game. She is not quite ready to get into this area yet because whether they realize it or not, they are going up against a fucking heavyweight parasocial player here. Katie Thurston knows exactly mm-hmm. what the fuck she's doing. And to say that, like, she got bored and started dragging these guys back into it. She didn't get bored. This was all calculated. She knew exactly what the fuck she was doing with 12 Days of Messy. And that's- all right, so you got to go listen to this full episode here. Now, art isn't the words you say, but how you say it. And Game of Roses is a gosh dang Mona Lisa, the way they talk about this show. So um, here's something that they posted today. Just they're They're just cutting, you know? Now, get credit credit words due to them. I'm kind of one of those like uh, you know uh, sort of like balance beam, trying not to offend too many people. Kind of uh, I'm a, I'm a wimp really uh, because you know you know everyone's trying the best with the information they have, but Game of Roses just really exposes the hypocrisy that is happening uh, with the call out culture that exists within the show. Okay, so we have that, what Alana said that she's totally on Katie's side. And we're going to get into exactly why here. So here's the first clip from Nick uh, sort of discussing uh, Alana and Chris's journey. Now, if you don't remember, Chris was on Bachelor in Paradise last summer. He was canoodling with Yesenia. Then Alana showed up and he chose Alana. And then grocery store Joe and Riley basically sort of pushed them off the show. They said, all right, get out of here. You're done. And they were like, all right. Now, in hindsight, they probably should have stuck it out. But that's kind of what went down. It was a popularity contest. No, no one who knows who the fuck this guy no. is. Yeah, Appar- he had a jalapeno in his opener, like for the next episode. So in the next episode, he was like holding a jalapeno. But yeah, I was like, no, I don't think that does that have any significance, no. anything to like, <sighs> no, he did. Like, Although I love how dismissive Nick is of his producer here. I don't think this producer's no, no, you know, no longer works with him. Here is why Chris is on the show. First off, I know joke. I very, when he was walking down, we only got a shot of his legs and at, at I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Right? Yeah. I was I was like, oh, is this a guy or a girl? I, sure. I forget about the rotation. He uh, yeah. has very pretty legs. He does. 
Now, I don't see a huge problem in saying that a man has very pretty legs. Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't think that's a huge problem there. But what, what I commented in my last video, uh, let's, let's just play these clips. When he says it's disrespectful that society, first of all, uses gay as a derogatory term and also don't impose sexuality on individuals. So they're at the very least imposing the sexuality on the individuals. Lovely so legs. props to Chris. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> These guys I wrote down look like police sketches of handsome guys. Jeez. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're not, they don't, they're like not unattractive, but they're like, it's like somebody very quickly tried to make a handsome guy. They do like, very well in the bar scene, right? Like, yikes. Okay. So they're, so you look, okay, they're going hard on Chris here. And of course, Chris and Alana have been together ever since. Let's go to 16. 58 here and check this out here where they call uh chris and uh chasen who he was with two nobodies uh let's go have a listen and immediately i don't know I yeah don't like it. i, I mean, don't like it but they they show up and yes they're 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 essentially two nobodies who right. are just off kind of <laughs> they need they, a brand they kind of have an ick quality to them sure. where they're like they're kind of handsome to your point but it's just like they you know, the 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 bachelor uh, the, the bachelor franchise's ability to cast tall good looking men without any game is truly it's that's their impressive. gift that yeah. is their ultimate gift their casting department is they are so good at finding tall attractive men with zero game once in a while you you get some game you know there's plenty of hand, you know riley clearly has game there's uh -huh. you know, a handful of people but like more than half their guys you would like, how do you not? But how do they say that Chris doesn't have game? He had two of the, I mean, objectively, like two, he had two very good looking women fighting over him. No, Chris has game. How do you speak. look like this? And, and how, it's just, it's shocking. This bad. So, you know, well, I, there's cameras though. There's no. That, that might throw you off it, a little sure, bit. But you're you find. Thinking about what you're I saying like, and how it's going to play at home. I guess. You know who seems to have game is Noah. No, Noah Maybe. totally has game. Noah has game. All right, yeah. That's Confirm. the end of so, okay, those are the clips of the last video I covered regarding this storyline. So, Alana upset at the dismissiveness that Nick had towards uh, Chris uh, during their season here. And again, as far as, and maybe you can let me know in the comment section, as far as what the front row seat was to a pretty upsetting phone call, no idea what that means. No idea what that means. Would love to know. Please, if anyone wants to let me know. Um, how does this factor into the KDV Nick drama? Well, it's really more of a character witness. Like Alana, like Alana's situation had not, not much to do with Katie. Although, if you just check out this part right here, it gets pretty damning. You know, like they're the they're just good looking enough that yeah. when you have a few drinks, they probably clean up. Chris hmm. is my understanding. Chris is on the show because he's part of what is this new kind of San Diego bachelor, you know, gang. Oh, of which Katie is now a part of, uh, apparently. Okay. Yeah, she got engaged to uh, um, a Canadian, Blake. Blake. Yeah. Uh -huh. So how soon we forget? Yeah. She gets engaged to Blake, but she's like, "No, nah, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna move to where all but like a five other dudes from my season are living and okay. leave Blake in Canada." So uh, interesting. Things so are James, going well. James um, is in this. Yikes! So he goes. Things are going well. All right. Let me know what you guys think. I'll be live on Patreon at 10 a.m. today. We'll discuss all this. Patreon.com/slash Dave Neal. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye, everybody. <laughs>